The Conditions of the Harbour Process by kscience.com The harbour process can be summarised by the word equation nitrogen reacting with hydrogen to form ammonia in a reversible reaction. And this is the balanced symbol equation. And the conditions in the harbour process is a temperature of 450 degrees Celsius, 200 atmosphere pressure, and an iron catalyst is used. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Here I'm drawing a graph, and on the x-axis there is the pressure in atmospheres, and on the y-axis there is the yield of ammonia, the percentage of ammonia produced. Now on the x-axis the pressure starts from 0 atmospheres and goes up to 500 atmospheres. And on the y-axis the yield of ammonia is from 0% to 100%. Here I'm drawing lines to represent the yield of ammonia depending on the temperature and pressure. So the blue line represents 200 degrees Celsius. The pink line represents 300 degrees Celsius. The green line represents 400 degrees Celsius. And the red line represents 500 degrees Celsius. We already know the harbour process uses a pressure of 200 atmospheres and a temperature of 450 degrees Celsius in between the 400 and 500 degrees Celsius lines. So when we draw across here on the 200 pressure line and we extrapolate the line across, we can see the yield of ammonia is this. The rest of this video is now going to focus on why is a pressure of 200 atmospheres and a temperature of 450 degrees Celsius chosen even though the yield of ammonia is potentially lower than what could be achieved with different conditions. So a pressure of 200 atmospheres is chosen and it makes sense when we look at this balanced symbol equation because we can see there are four molecules on the left and two molecules on the right. So when we increase the pressure this favours the forward reaction and this is a good thing. This is because increasing the pressure increases the yield of ammonia as the equilibrium moves to the side with fewer molecules, favouring the forward direction. However, a major negative is that if the pressure is above 200 atmospheres, the higher pressures would involve higher costs, making the process more expensive. Not only this, there would be an increased risk of explosion in the chemical plant, so a compromise of 200 atmospheres is used. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Now we already know a temperature of 450 degrees Celsius is used. To understand why, we need to look at the balanced symbol equation where the forward reaction is exothermic and the backward reaction is endothermic. This means a very high temperature decreases the yield of ammonia and is expensive, but a very low temperature decreases the rate of reaction as particles collide less frequently and have less activation energy. Therefore, a compromise of 450 degrees Celsius is used. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. When we look at this graph, we can see if 200 degrees Celsius was used, the yield of ammonia would be nearly 100%.
However, this temperature would result in a rate of reaction that would be too low. Therefore, a compromise of 450 degrees Celsius is used to make sure the rate of reaction is high enough, but also so that the yield is not too low. And finally, an iron catalyst is used which speeds up the rate of reaction in both directions by providing an alternative reaction pathway, lowering the activation energy so a lower temperature can be used. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.